She's just shaking, worried every day. It's all the news is about. Many Americans watching the conflict in Ukraine, it can feel half a world away, but to some, those images hit much closer to home. WCIA3's Scarlett O'Hara spoke to an Illinois family concerned about their loved ones near the war. It's just awful. U of I grad Julia Minkovich starts and ends every day by watching the news in English and Ukrainian. It's just videos of like missile strikes, civilians getting hurt, children dying, civilians dying, people taking shelter underneath train stations. Her grandmother lives in Ternopil, near Ukraine's western border with Poland. Russia's invasion hasn't hit that region as hard as other major cities like Kyiv. Because if I worry, I worry her. She's already shaking all day, so we just try to be you know, strong for her. And if things get worse, she'll be forced to leave behind everything she knows, including the memory of her late husband. And the memory of him is around, and she's just not ready to let it go. She's not ready to leave. Minkovich says here in Illinois, the rest of her family is worried and heartbroken, but they're raising money and donations for supplies to send back to their second home. If you send it out, if you have a lot of Ukrainian friends in the community, everyone is donating. She says the rest of her friends in Ukraine fled Kyiv. They're safe in Poland now, and if things escalate, her family will be working to get her grandmother across the border too. It's just a sad, it's a sad time, and especially being here. I know a lot of people who are going to Ukraine and they're going either to fight or they're going to work. Pretty much we're doing whatever we can do. Scarlett O'Hara reporting there. She says there are a lot of ways people at home can help out. We'll have more of those details on our website.